1705FNA, allowing the purchase and use of marijuana by a dove, regulating the purchase and use of marijuana, imposing taxes on the wholesale and retail sale of marijuana. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the committee, for the record, my name is Representative Mark Warden, representing Hillsborough County District 7, which are the towns of Goshtown and Ware. And first of all, I just want to make a disclaimer that as a uh, fiscally conservative Republican, I don't smoke marijuana. If this bill were to pass, or when it does pass, I'm not going to start smoking marijuana. But I will admit to enjoying occasional beer, frosty beer, and in fact, I've even stopped on occasion at the state-run liquor store to purchase a bottle of wine. So, I'm here really in the interest of taxpayers and for the humanity of the criminal justice system <coughs> more than anything. And I'm understanding that uh, from a fiscal sense, the cost to society and to taxpayers of the revolving door of the criminal justice system with these uh, sort of nonviolent crimes is one that we should do as a legislature. <coughs> we should work towards improving. First of all, I'm only, I'll keep my comments brief and uh, let some other people uh, give some good testimony, but here are five simple words to remember. Marijuana is safer than alcohol. We all know this, right? It's, it's almost self-evident. We hear testimony all the time from, there's a book, here you go, thank you. There's a, we hear testimony all the time. Uh, to that effect, that all sorts of substances, including Tylenol, prescription drugs, alcohol, even water, are lethal and have killed people from overuse. There's never been a recorded case of somebody dying from smoking too much, too much marijuana. Never. Um, although liquor is far more dangerous, the state treats treats alcohol as if it were as if it were safer than marijuana, right? Which encourages more people to drink. And obviously, everybody knows that legal tobacco cigarettes uh, and smoking them leads to horrible health outcomes, often in deaths for thousands each year. Um, also, we know that alcohol leads to violent and aggressive behavior. So uh, we hear that sort of testimony from the from law enforcement. <coughs> and I think if uh, law enforcement police were truly interested in public safety and the safety of officers, they would be encouraging prohibition on alcohol and not on marijuana. Second takeaway on this is that marijuana, uh, there's a myth out there there's a gateway drug to using, using higher, uh, worse drugs like cocaine and heroin. No such evidence exists. In fact, uh, as far back as 1999, the Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences um, wrote, quote, because underage smoking and alcohol use typically precede marijuana use, marijuana is not the most common and is rarely the first gateway to illicit drug use. There is no conclusive evidence that the drug effects of marijuana are causally linked to the subsequent abuse of other illicit drugs, unquote. So that's a red herring argument, and I think we can dispatch with that. Um, I'll just leave you with this, I think this is a very important point, that law enforcement, the criminal justice uh, system, and all taxpayers will benefit <coughs> by passing this legislation. I'm glad to take questions if you have any, and I thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Pastor, Chairman. Uh, do you believe that allowing those 21 years <coughs> older to use marijuana will send the wrong message to children? Thank you for the question, Representative. I'm not sure what the wrong message to send is. If you're saying that it puts it on, uh, it lets people think that it's as safe or as dangerous as alcohol and tobacco, yeah, maybe that is the wrong message. But I think for many people, our marijuana is far safer than alcohol use. Any other questions? Seeing none, thank you.